warlord, statesman, and military leader Lu Bu ruled China during the late Eastern Han Dynasty of Imperial China. He was once a warlord Ding Yuan's lieutenant, but after betraying and killing Ding Yuan, he defected to Dong Zhuo, the warlord in charge of the Han central government, in the early 190s. He turned against Dong Zhuo in 192, killing him at the urging of Wang Yun and Shi Sun Rui, but Dong Zhuo's supporters ultimately beat him and drove him away. Lu Bu traveled through central and northern China from 192 until the beginning of 195, successively looking for refuge under warlords like Yuan Shu, Yuan Shao, and Zhang Yang. With the aid of Chao Chao's side defectors, he was able to seize control of Yan province in 194, although Chao quickly reclaimed his former holdings. In 195, Lu Bu rebelled against Lu Bei, who had given him asylum in the Su province, and took over his host's authority over the region. Although though he had earlier agreed to an alliance with Yuan Shu, he broke it up once Yuan declared himself to be the emperor, which was treason against Emperor Xian of Han, and joined Chao and others in assaulting the imposter. He once more joined with Yuan Shu, though, and was attacked by Chao and Lu's united forces, which led to his loss at the Battle of Xiaopi in 199. On Chao's command, he was apprehended and strangled to death. Although Lu Bu is portrayed as a very strong warrior in historical and literary sources, he was also well known for his unpredictable behavior. He erratically switched sides and willingly betrayed his allies. He had no self-control and was constantly wary of other people. All of these elements ultimately contributed to his failure. He is portrayed as a practically unopposed warrior who was also a harsh and impetuous savage devoid of morals in the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which dramatizes the specifics of his life and adds some imaginary parts, including his passion with the fictional heroine Diaochan.